All right, we have all of our nitrous and oxygen plumbed now. So we have a scavenger, nitrous and the oxygen tanks. Um, so we have a tankless regulator. It's pretty much the exact same as what we've been using in the clinic. Hook up our oxygen and nitrous. It can only go in one way. Can't go the other way. Notice all the words are up when you put it in the correct way. If you had it flipped over, it wouldn't let you in. And there's a little hook right here that hooks it into the piece and doesn't come out. Scavenger, same situation. It goes in, push down on that little lever, make sure that it can't come out. You don't want that popping out, hitting someone in the face, something like that, so make sure that those are secure when you're putting them in. Similar to previous times, if we hit this little lever, nothing's gonna happen. If we turn it on, the on button is right here. So push in, it's on, out is off. So right where it says on, if you press it in, oxygen works. If the oxygen is off, nitrous won't do anything. You have to have oxygen running to have any sort of nitrous going through the tank. So this side, I'm gonna zoom in right here. This is just regulating the flow of oxygen. So this will give us up to six, so on and so forth. This side is nitrous. So if we want our percent of nitrous, that will change percent nitrous, but it will not change the flow. So once you decide on your percent, say we're at 40%, this would be at 10 liters total. So we bring that down, add them together, say we want to be at about six liters, so two and a half, three and a half, six liters, so we're not wasting oxygen, not wasting nitrous. So back to just the oxygen. Notice the tank is full. Right here, we have our scavenger. We wanna make sure that that little ball is in the green zone. So not too high and right in the green zone. That means it's optimized for scavenging all the extra gas out of here. If we look in our hood, set these up and a little tricky. The excess gas in here will get scavenged out through the tubing into the tank, eventually back into here. So you are good to go as far as setting up with the patient. This is not to be tightened to get close to the patient and basically tether them to the chair. This is a situation that if you want the patient, notice it's on oxygen, I'm not putting nitrous on here. If you want the patient to turn a certain way, you can tighten the one side so that you're not running into, if you're tightening the one side so you're not running into the tubing if you're working up here on the buckle. It'll be tightened to that side as the patient's in the chair. That's what this little mechanism is for. It's not to keep it against the patient's head. So when we're all done, there's no reason to purge or do anything like that other than the bladder because everything is out of there and we don't have to worry about the tanks. So when you're done, go back to pure oxygen. We've had nitrous on for however long. Go here and we're on pure oxygen for five minutes. When we're done, shut that down. We still have the scavenger technically going. Just squeeze out there, totally full, and we're good to go. If you have oxygen going on this side of the unit though, there's an oxygen flush. So if you want to get more in the bag or more oxygen going, lowers the nitrous, we're good to go. When you are done, we're done with our five minute oxygen flush after seeing the patient. Everything is good as far as the bladder. Let's get these to come off. Just push down on the device that hooks it in. This sits here to the side. Again, that little hook that hooks them in. This sits here. This stays with the unit. So everything up through right here. So you should still have these little gray pieces. And a little gray piece. And that's going to hook there. And 
sits right here. This, including the nose piece, the hood piece, and the two sides, goes back to oral surgery dispensing.